Never once have we had this problem, ever. Ever, 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 ever. And I find it very upsetting. A funeral home and others in Salem frustrated. Death certificates can't be certified right now because one important tool is missing. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. I'm Lindsay Watson. That tool is a stamp. And someone recently retired and another person is taking over for now. And a new stamp had to be ordered. Well, grieving families and funeral homes are now waiting for this to be resolved. First News Weekend Morning anchor Samantha Bender has our top story at six. The city's former registrar, who officially stamps the death certificates, retired from the department on April 1st. She informed the city at a board meeting. An interim registrar was named until the position gets filled permanently. While that was approved with the state, a new stamp had to be ordered for her to make certifications official. But when funeral director Robert Greeneisen took some paperwork down to get filed on the first of this month... We were handed back a note when my driver came back stating... They could not issue because they didn't have a stamp. Kayla Crowell, the city's health commissioner, says that stamp was ordered but is still in transit somewhere. I think there might have been um, a little bit of a lag in the communication as to how soon we needed the stamp. There's been autopsy reports that have come back and the coroner's office finished their findings that we now need to get stuff for insurance companies from back in January. And we cannot get them. We're sitting here waiting. These families have been waiting since January. Green Eyes In tells me grieving families are essentially being held hostage. They can't take money out of the bank or handle insurance and probate court and attorneys can't do anything either. Fortunately, we can still get the burial permits that are needed to do burials and cremations. That we can still get. But other than that, we can't get anything else. There are no other options for grieving families to get the death certificate certified as they must be issued and certified in the district in which the person passes. We are doing everything in our power. We have called every day um, to make sure that our stamp is still coming because we, we know the importance and the value um, our department holds uh, for, for providing all of that to these families. Crowell tells me they did receive word Tuesday that the stamp should arrive by the end of the week. I just want the people of Salem to have trust in our city. I think there has somebody dropped the ball somewhere. And unfortunately, events like this happen. We apologize for any inconvenience that this has caused. Um, and, and we hope to just get everything up and running and, you know, not skip a beat. In Salem, Samantha Bender, WKBN 27 First News. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.